how is the skin horse's attitude towards becoming real conveyed through particular details in his conversation with Rabbit? In this lesson, you will learn how to determine the speaker's point of view in a text by noticing particular details in the character's conversation. Let's review what we've been reading. This is a classic work of children's literature called The Velveteen Rabbit. And it was written by a woman named Marjorie Williams and originally published in 1922. This is a story about the secret lives of toys. Let's also review that a speaker's point of view will include how they think and feel about a topic. One example of a topic might be a new cell phone. Different people will have different points of view about the topic. Some people will be excited, some people will be really excited, and others might have more questions or concerns. So depending on who's talking, you'll get a different point of view about that new cell phone, or in other words, about that topic. We're going to use these three steps to guide us as we look for the speaker's point of view in our text. One, reread the conversation in this section and underline the words and phrases that help you understand what the characters are talking about. Two, ask yourself, what does the speaker think and feel about the topic? Three, then ask, how do the details from the conversation connect to support the speaker's point of view? Remember, today we are focusing on the conversation between Rabbit and the Skin Horse. And this question is already telling me that Skin Horse is the speaker I should be paying attention to and becoming real is our topic. Now I know where I need to be looking in the text. This particular conversation goes from the middle of page 2 to the bottom of page 3. Now I know I should be paying attention to when Rabbit asks these questions and I'll look for how Skin Horse responds. First, I will reread the conversation in this section and underline the words and phrases that help me understand what the characters are talking about. I'm always going to be wondering to myself, who are the characters and what are they talking about? That'll help me understand the topic here. What is real? asked the rabbit one day. Well, this is rabbit asking a question and I'm really interested in how Skin Horse responds, so let me skip to where he responds. Real isn't how you are made, said the Skin Horse. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. And now this is an important detail because Skin Horse is explaining how becoming real happens. Does it hurt? asked the rabbit. Okay, he's asking another question here, which sets up another opportunity for Skin Horse to share his point of view. The end is the most important detail here. When you are real, you don't mind being hurt. Wow, like I said, this is important. There's one more thing on this page, though, that we should notice. It says that Skin Horse was always truthful. That definitely shares his point of view. Now let me jot down everything that we noticed from this page. We know the Skin Horse is our speaker and that he's truthful and honest. We know the topic is becoming real. And here are the two details we collected from this passage. As I reread the conversation in the next section, I'll keep asking myself, now what is the speaker saying about the topic? Does it happen all at once, like being wound up, he asked, or bit by bit? It doesn't happen all at once, said the skin horse. Wow, now look at this whole section. I think it's important because the skin horse reveals many more details about becoming real. He says, you become, and it takes a long time. He continues, it doesn't happen to people who break easily. Later, he says, you might become old and ugly, but at the end here, those things don't matter at all because once you are real, you can't be ugly except to people who don't understand. I suppose you are real, said the rabbit. Rabbit sure is asking a lot of questions, but after all of these questions, it says here, but the skin horse only smiled. That tells me that Skin Horse is being really patient with Rabbit's curiosity and that he's enjoying what he's thinking about, which is probably our topic. And now here's one more thing that Skin Horse shares about his personal thoughts and feelings on our topic. He responds by saying, the boy's uncle made me real. And that is cool because we just learned that Skin Horse himself is real. And he also says in the last sentence, 
it lasts for always. It lasts forever. So let's add those details to our notes. The new details here are it takes a long time, it doesn't happen often to people who break easily, and it makes you ugly but those things don't matter and it lasts for always. The next step is to ask myself what does the speaker think and feel about the topic? Here are my notes. I know that Skin Horse is the speaker and the topic is becoming real. So now I have to wonder how does Skin Horse feel about becoming real? Mm -hmm. And as I look back over my notes, I'm thinking about how to turn these bullets into complete thoughts that relate to the question. So when I think about the first piece of information I collected, I can conclude that Skin Horse is honest about the risks and time involved in becoming real because he's real and he knows. That's definitely Skin Horse's experience with becoming real. But he advises Rabbit that he won't mind being ugly or getting hurt if he cares about the other person. And that's, those are Skin Horse's feelings from his point of view. And finally, I was noticing in my notes that he patiently explains that becoming real is a special and permanent thing that won't happen to everybody. Okay, now I've done some deeper thinking about Skin Horse's thoughts on the topic. Now I'll ask, how do the details from the conversation connect to support the speaker's point of view? Well, I have my notes and my thoughts, but I know that I always need to support my thoughts with evidence from the text. So, hmm, I need to go back to the text and find the details that support my thinking. And let me put this all together. What that means is I'm going to go back to the section that we read together. And I'm going to add the relevant evidence, which are quotes and specific textual evidence, to my thoughts, and then I'll come up with my answer. But before I do, let me review that question I am supposed to be answering. Oh yeah, it's how is the skin horse's attitude towards becoming real conveyed through particular details in his conversation with Rabbit? And here's what I came up with. You're welcome to pause the video at this point and look for my thinking that I connect to textual evidence so I can support my thoughts. And you can continue when you're ready. Here are the steps we took to answer our question for today. One. Reread the conversation in this section and underline the words and phrases that help you understand what the characters are talking about. Two, ask yourself, what does the speaker think and feel about the topic? Three, then ask, how do the details from the conversation connect to support the speaker's point of view? In this lesson, you have learned how to determine the speaker's point of view in a text by noticing particular details in the character's conversation.